Well, hey everyone, it's Mr. Pearson here with a story problem, a word problem for us to solve today. And as you can see on the screen, this one's going to be a little more challenging because it involves money. So there are decimal places there. So let's go ahead and read through the problem twice. And then I'll give you an opportunity to pause the screen, solve it, and then come back and we'll walk through how to solve it together. That way you can check to make sure you got the right answer. The problem says, Sarah had $5 in her pocket. She bought a milkshake for $3.29. If she pays with the $5, how much change will Sarah get back? One more time that says, Sarah had $5 in her pocket. She bought a milkshake for $3.29. If she pays with the $5, how much change will Sarah get back? Okay, go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil, solve the problem, pause it while you do, pause the video while you do that, and then come back in just a moment after you've solved it, and we'll walk through together how to solve this problem, and you can check to see that you got the right answer. Okay, so Sarah had $5 in her pocket. She bought a milkshake for $3.29. If she pays with the $5, how much change will Sarah get back? So, of course, we're always going to start by circling our numbers. And we're going to start here with the $5 that Sarah had in her pocket. And she's going to spend $3.29. Now, if you look, you'll see another $5 there. But that $5 is just referring to the $5 that she already had. We don't need to do much with that. So now the next thing we're going to do is underline our question. How much change will Sarah get back? Okay. So when you see things like the word change and get back from a larger number, that's going to indicate to us that we are going to do a subtraction problem. So we're going to set this up as a subtraction problem. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to box the word how much and I'm going to box change and then just because it helps me to remember this is subtraction we're going to uh, say get back as well so let's set this up as a subtraction problem I'm going to write five dollars so five decimal point zero zero because there's no money in the in the cents column I'm going to put a dollar sign just to help me remember that this is money minus three dollars and twenty nine cents got to make sure that your numbers here always line up because if they don't you're going to end up making a mistake okay now this can seem challenging but really this is just a subtraction across the zeros problem there's a couple different ways to do it but let me show you the way that i like to do it i'm going to because i can't take nine from zero and in the tens place there's a zero as well what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this instead of it being five hundreds and zero tens I'm gonna put a box around the five and the zero making it 50 groups of 10 now I can definitely borrow from 50 so I'm gonna cross this out and I'm gonna take one group of 10 away so that 50 becomes 49 and this is giving a group of 10 here so now I can subtract I can take 9 from 10 which will give me 1 come over here to the tens place I have nine take away two is seven on to the hundreds place four take away three gives me one now because this is a money problem I'm going to make sure I drop my decimal in my class we call it drop it like it's hot and then we're gonna put our dollar sign so we can see that if Sarah pays for her three dollar and twenty nine cent milkshake with her five dollars she's going to get one dollar seventy one cents back in change so I hope you were able to follow along I hope that you got the right answer if Sarah pays for her milkshake with her five dollars she's gonna get one dollar seventy one cents back in change and just as an added bonus if it helps you out uh, one dollar and seventy one cents 
she would most likely get a one dollar bill, two quarters, two dimes, and one penny. That would be the smallest amount of change she could get back. All right, this is Mr. Pearson with another word problem for you, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.